Hello YouTubers, this is my motorized electric crank powered bicycle. This bicycle is a 20 inch folding bicycle. It's a caddy up brand from China that I got off of eBay. How this works is I have a motor that's connected to the cranks so that I can use my bike's original gearing. This bicycle has six speeds. The motor I'm using is a Unite MY1018Z. It's 450 watts, 24 volts. It's internally geared has a 7 to 1 gear reduction inside the motor itself and there's additional 4 to 1 reduction from the motor to the cranks. The cranks themselves are a special free blowing crank and this allows the motor to turn the chain and the pedals remain stationary. Plus I also have the option of pedaling along with my motor. Back here I have a mega range free blowing sprocket. The smallest gear has 11 teeth. So if I'm in that gear, this bicycle will have a top speed of 25 miles per hour on a flat terrain, no hills, and uh, with no wind. Of course, I can change gears to match the road conditions as necessary. The motor is bolted to the steel plate, and the steel plate is connected to the bicycle with these U-bolts. The U-bolts allow me to not have to drill any more holes in my frame. The holes you see there are from a previous project. This one, I didn't have to drill any more holes. And it's a really strong design. Uh, there's no bending because the steel's real stiff and uh, the motor doesn't slide around at all. I have two 12 volt 18 amp lead acid batteries powering the system. And they're connected to this 500 watt 24 volt controller. The battery basket I found at the dollar store, which is a great find because it fits my batteries perfectly. And I just zip tied it to the rear rack. I have a GPS to keep track of the speed. And then I have a thumb throttle that also has a battery indicator in it, which tells me how much battery life is left. What we're going to do now is uh, go for a test drive. And we're using a half mile stretch of trail here in Henderson, Nevada. It has a slight downhill grade to it, and there is a slight breeze uh, to our back. So this is probably going to go slightly faster than 25 miles an hour because of that reasoning. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and take it up to top speed and see what it'll do. So I start pedaling and then now I engage the motor. See what's happening down there is the chain is spinning with the pedals remaining stationary which is a demonstration of how that freeloading crank works. What I'm going to do now is go change through all these gears, go in the sixth gear and just take it up to top speed. And we're up to top speed. This gear now. 23 miles an hour, 24. an hour. Twenty seven miles an hour. No pedaling. Twenty seven. Now if you keep it in the speed, this is using the most strong batteries. So keeping at the speed is going to diminish the range. So usually while I'm riding, I'll put it into a lower gear. And by doing that, it's going to help the range. I'm going to be going slower, but then it's not going to be putting as much uh, strain on the batteries. The motor will be drawing less amps. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to slow down. I'm going to put it into a uh, second gear, and then I'm going to go up the other direction, show you the uh, hill climbing capabilities. These uh, bicycles, it's not all about top speed. It's important to have power when going up hills. And we're also going into a, a slight wind. So I'm in second gear right now. And not pedaling. Top speed in this gear is about 13 miles an hour. And we're about there, about. 12 miles an hour and it's not very 
very fast, but it does have power to take us up this incline. This incline's not that steep. And this 450 watt motor does pretty good for inclines like this, as a slight incline. But for anything that's steeper, uh, it doesn't do that great of a job. However, with the system, you do have the option of pedaling along with the motor to help it. And in fact, if I don't want to keep going at 12 miles an hour like this, I don't have to. I can go ahead and put it into a higher gear and then pedal along with the motor. Okay, so right now I'm in fourth gear. And pedaling along with the motor and doing about 15, 16 miles an hour, which is, is better. We're able to take this hill faster. By me pedaling, it's saving the motor so that my range can be extended. So now I've stopped pedaling. We're still just going up in fourth gear. And it's only about 15 miles an hour. Now the beauty of the system is I can change gears and put it into the best gear to match the road conditions. Just kind of the same as if you're pedaling uphill, you're gonna to want to find the best gear that matches whatever incline that you have. And by doing so, it's gonna, again, extend your range. The uh, riding conditions today, I'm a 200 pound rider. This bicycle weighs about 70 pounds. It's gonna be an idea of what's going on. And uh, we've reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.